while this was not the article I was looking for, um, it'll do just as good. It's just to point out the evils of moderators, and in this case, Facebook. Uh, the article I was originally going to show you was how Facebook has very sexist um, undertones to it. That in the company, they treat women like garbage, they just treat them like objects, and this is a common phenomena within the Facebook walls. This isn't just one or two people, this is the entirety of it, and Mark Zuckerberg uh, condones it, if not sexist himself. So, what this illustrates is that moderators have a tendency to hate women. Maybe not hate them in like a sense of hang you on a tree hate, but hate them in a sense of they give them this inferiority uh, condolences. They give them this, uh, you know, lower than a male totem pole. It's just a means of degrading women. That's what moderators do. They degrade people. In this case, women. In this case, Facebook but it's always the same. Now, what I want to get into here is how in this particular article, uh, it talks about how Facebook has been indulging in what's considered dark profiles. What is a dark profile? I didn't know what this was either. Apparently, it's when Facebook takes it upon itself to make profiles of people that are in photos and they use all their information they know about the other person that actually has a Facebook to kind of make a proxy account of this person that exists within their fold but doesn't have a Facebook themselves. Like for example, let's say I were to take a photo with one of my friends and I had a Facebook but my friend didn't. What Facebook would do with this dark profile is make a profile for my friend that did not add in any way consent to it. He just happen to be in a photo of mine and now they're making a profile for him hoping to coerce him into joining Facebook. Isn't that something? So basically they're setting it up for you to be forced to have a Facebook but then they think they can fucking ban you from Facebook. It, it, isn't that the odd just exemplify the audacity of moderators and then to top it all off Facebook is now working on a job application thing where, like Craigslist, you can search for jobs on Facebook, but yet they think they can ban you from Facebook. So, jobs ask for a Facebook profile sometimes. Facebook now is going to be expected to be used to search for jobs, and yet they still think they can ban you from Facebook and infringe on your individual rights. Not just your right to freedom of speech, but I mean just your personal, <clears throat> your personal life to the point of you can't even find a fucking job because Facebook is infringing on you. Because face, it's, a, it's Facebook's fault if you are unemployed. I mean, maybe not everybody's fault. Not, it's not everybody's, not everybody's unemployed because of Facebook, but surely they have to take some responsibility for that. Surely if there are so many people out of work and Facebook's banning people that could be looking for a job on Facebook but now can't, Facebook should be held responsible for that. I sincerely believe if Facebook goes through with this where they uh, have job applications up and shit like that on there, I will sue them for being responsible for why I don't have a job. That's just all there is to it. If Facebook thinks they can do this and ban me on top of that, then they should have to pay me some kind of reparations for the fact that I can't find a job because their fucking asses can't leave their grubby little sausage fingers off of the keyboard to not ban people. So that that's just going to be the end of that. And, you know, I, I don't even know what else to say here other than how evil do they have to get for you to see the picture? How evil, what, what do they have to fucking do for you to understand there is no limit in their mind. There, there is no, you know, too far for them. They'll just keep doing more and more and more. They'll fucking cut a puppy's throat wide open and nobody will care. They know you won't care. That's why Facebook gets to data mine you in, in the first place. That's why Facebook gets to invade your privacy and sell your information to anyone, anywhere. And then turn around and think they can fucking ban you and censor you and you think nothing of it it's absolute rape and you don't even fucking care what 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 is wrong with you is is this something in the water is it just you just 
your brain is fried from all the stupid Lady Gaga shit and watching NFL or whatever you're doing? What happened to you that made you lose all respect for yourself, your family, and humanity as a whole? What happened to you to make you not see just how disgusting this really is? So, I guess that's it. Uh, see you later.